YouTube video in a while. And actually, some of my friends kind of called me out on it. Um, Aiden Evans, you know who you are. But anyways, was asked about the Bronco. Really haven't done anything to the Bronco. I moved it today. Battery was dead as hell. So I got it on the charger. Obviously, it's been sitting and collecting a lot of pollen. Because it's pollen season. I know, kind of a disgrace. But um, I've been working on my 86 F-150, the blue truck that was on the lift. It now has no engine or transmission in it. Um, it's up on the lift. This is the engine that came out of it. This is a truck I did, I don't know, six or seven months ago. But as you can see, no engine or transmission. This is what's going in. It's a 302 out of a, came out of a town car, I believe, or Crown Vic or something to that effect. But uh, I'm going to swap over the truck intake manifold. And uh, I got some headers, but I got to take them and do some weld, do a weld in bone for the O2 sensor, which I took out and is right here the O2 sensor. Um, I haven't really made any progress on the coyote motor. I do have the belts and some other stuff, uh, but I haven't really gotten done anything to it. I'm going to get this blue truck running on the lift real quick. Hopefully in the next week or so, I had to order a weld-in bung for the uh, O2 sensor. Um, so I can get that drilled and welded onto the header and then I'll put the motor in, put the header in, put the O2 sensor, connect all the wiring and everything and it'll be backed up and running. And then the wife has some projects that I got to do around the house. But I've been working a lot. I think in the last three weeks I've had about, I think three days off or two days off. I've just been really busy with work. And I haven't had time. I did work on the blue truck. Uh, took the engine and transmission out of it last week. Um, I only worked on it one day. I didn't really do any YouTube video on it. I don't know if anybody cares about that truck or not. It's just a little truck. My first truck was an 85, so that truck's kind of personal to me. So I'll probably never get rid of it. It'll just sit in the yard no matter how. Whatever it is, that's fine. But the wife wants me to build her a koi pond and a deck with uh, pavers and you know when the wife wants something you got to do what the wife wants so that'll probably be my next project but after that hopefully I'll get the I'm waiting on a couple of fittings for the fuel lines I don't know I don't remember if I showed this in one of my old videos or not but I got the fuel regulator and it come with the AN lines and um, it came with the fuel regulator, the AN lines, um, the actual hoses underneath here, the dash fix hose. But I got that in, so that is one thing less to order. I got to order the push to the push lock connectors to so that I can use the factory fuel lines from the truck. And then the wall barrel uh, intake pump, I'm going to try to pull the sending unit out of the Bronco, put the wall barrel pump on it. It should pump enough pressure to give me the 55 PSI I need for the Coyote motor. And then uh, a couple adapter, a couple little fittings, I think maybe $60 in parts. And the pump was another hundred and something dollars. And I should have everything to drop this motor into the Bronco. Uh, I've been kind of looking at RYD Industries, solid axis swap stuff. Um, I've done it before using the factory parts. I think their parts for the solid axle swap just look cleaner. Uh, their kit is like, I think, twelve dollars or $1,400, something like that, for the, the four-link kit in the front. So I may end up doing that. I'm just not sure yet. Um, my plan is to get the motor in and running with it at stock height and then... Uh, once it's all running, then I'll do the solid axle swap 
and I'll probably end up pulling the body off the frame and pulling the motor and stuff back out of it and then painting everything all pretty and then putting the body back on it eventually one day I'd like to repaint the whole Bronco but that's money so um, other than that yeah I haven't been up to a whole lot just a bunch of work trying to make some money these parts don't come cheap <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Alright, well I got some work done today. I got the truck intake manifold on. Cleaned up a bunch of wiring. Took the transmission off. Um, I was actually about to change the water pump. But I realized that I have a spare motor sitting here. And I have all the pieces to put serpentine setup on. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to a serpentine setup. But... The problem is, I bought a new water pump for the truck and it's for the pulley, the uh, V-belt. So I'm gonna have to take that back and swap the alternator out. I mean the water pump out and get a uh, one for a newer motor. But I just wanted to point something out real quick. All right, look at the size of this Coyote motor, okay? And then I want you to look at the size of this 5.0 push rod motor. Like my hand covers the whole intake. The Coyote motor, my hand, does not cover the whole intake. It, the motor's huge. It's absolutely enormous. But my daughter's got a softball game, so I'm about to put this motor up, call it a day. Gotta work for the next couple of days, so hopefully next week I'll have some of the parts in that I need. I need the welding bung for the O2 sensor. I'll probably just go ahead and order a new O2 sensor. Put this uh, push rod 5.0 back in this blue truck here. Um, which I probably will be converting to four-wheel drive in the future. So I have a C6 and a 205 to put in it. So I'll probably end up converting this truck to four-wheel drive because that's how I roll. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll have another video hopefully next week. Have a good one.